All right, guys, so I feel like the red pill community is doing you all a disservice. The red pill community is actually lying to so many of you guys. And I know this for a fact because I was the one engaging in all of that fucking content for years and years and years and years. And all it did was just fuck up my views on so many different things. And it's something that we need to talk about because while a lot of it is true and we're going to get into that, it's not 100% definitive. Okay, so a lot of the red pill content that's out there just breeds contempt and it creates the very, you know, monstrous incels that it says that it's not trying to create. You know, it's like, oh, we're trying to make men better. A lot of those cases, that is simply not true. It's making men far worse. And we need to talk about it because I just feel like this. Oh, my God, this is just this is just not good. Right. A lot of this stuff is just terrible for men to engage with. All right, so before we begin, we need to take a look at the numbers, right? And we need to understand them because yes, like I said before, a lot of the stuff that the red pill community talks about is true, all right? So over 80%, what is it, over, it's almost 80% of divorces are initiated by women. You know, women swipe right 10 to 15% of the, the fucking time on social media. So, you know, I'm not on social media, but on dating apps, so we know that they only pick the top of the top. We know that, you know, women leave for various reasons. There, there's all types of, of metrics behind this. You know, we know that, uh, you know, Dating apps comprise of generally roughly 70%, you know, male, 30% female. So the numbers are already skewed, not necessarily in your favor. If you're a dude, you know, most women aren't going to pay attention to your feelings. They don't care about, you know, how, like how you feel. They don't really care about your thoughts or emotions or any of that stuff. We know the negative, right? We know those numbers. Now let's talk about some of the negatives that I've dealt with. So I can tell you some of the positives that, you know, I should have been paying attention to the whole fucking time this is going to be a doozy, right? So I've had some, some horrible things happen to me. Yes. I've been lied to. I've been cheated on. I've had, you know, you know, chicks just completely forget about my birthday or take girls trips on my birthday. I've had, you know, chicks try to, you know, sue me for certain things like, Oh my God, you know, you didn't pay my bills when you promised you were going to I, all types. Of, I've had chicks tell me that I need to pay their mortgage. And we've been dating for like five fucking days, all these different things. Right. But what it boils down to is those were my fucking choices. I was attracting that shit because of, you know, the red pill content. You know, I'm, I was looking for all the negatives because that's all they talk about. They don't talk about any of the positives, right? They just say all women are evil. They're all bad. They're all nasty. And that is not fucking true. If you look at the fucking shows and a the podcast, they're picking a specific type of woman and that is what they're going after. But let me tell you some of the fucking great things that you guys can find. I've had chicks just check up me just because I fucking exist. Made my favorite, you know, desserts, banana bread, you know, made me cupcakes, you know, planned a whole surprise fucking picnic for me, you know, paid for dinner, you know, paid to get my cars detailed, you know, have helped me, you know, gave me their last fucking $20 for Burger King when we didn't fucking have, you know, two pennies to rub together. You know what I'm saying? Like they have, women have done great things, you know, for me. Yes, they are few and far fucking between and yes, you know, I, I can't say that it's been the majority of my fucking experiences, but they fucking exist. And once I started looking for the good in, in women, that's when I started finding it versus, oh, you know, these chicks are going to leave me anyway. So I might as well just be a, a complete fuck boy. And we're going to talk about that in the next segment on why you shouldn't do that dumb shit, man. Because I can tell you guys firsthand, you are going to ruin some really really good women for the next motherfucker out there and they don't come back after that so my entire life i was taught that you know women are essentially evil even by my mom then i got into the military went through indoc and it was even worse right if we wanted you to have a family we would have fucking issued it to you you're going to be deployed 10 months out the year and you're going to come back and they're going to be fucking your homeboys and everything else and it's true i saw that firsthand right but i let that carry carry over and then i started engaging in red pill content like a motherfucker and you want to know something it just made me fucking bitter it made me hate women for no fucking reason and i was treating these women like they were disposable yes women do treat men like they're disposable in a lot of cases but that is not all cases right instead of becoming better i became bitter and so I would sit there and be like, you know what? You're going to fucking leave anyway. So I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. I don't care if it fucking hurts your feelings. I don't care how you feel about it because you don't care about my feelings. And that's the wrong take, the wrong fucking take on any of that shit. What you guys need to pay attention to is this shit right here. And it's going to get you. Come here. Come here. 
Have you guys ever noticed the fucking comment section of like all the red pill people, uh, you know, the red pill content creators? It's filled with fucking dudes that couldn't get laid with a fistful of hundreds in a fucking whorehouse anyway. And they're like, oh yeah, you know, I would never date that bitch anyway. Bro, you're five foot three, you're like 250 fucking pounds, you're fucking bald, you got jacked up teeth, like no chick would want you any fucking way. But this red pill content makes these trolls feel like they're fucking entitled because they're high value men. Motherfucker, you ain't high value, you're just high as shit. Quit, <laughs> quit living in your mom's basement smoking a bunch of fucking weed. Those comments fuel the trolls, they fuel the incels, they fuel these dudes to become fucking monsters. And initially, the red pill, you know, space was meant to help men become better versions of themselves. And slowly, what it devolved into was not that. What it devolved into is this. And this is where shit went fucking wrong. Instead of telling men to be better, do better, and all that shit, what they said was go out there, do what the fuck you want, have crazy rotations, fuck these hoes, they're gonna have to share, you're gonna have to do this, become high value, all these things. Instead of doing the fucking hard work and becoming better, they're telling you to do all this fucked up shit. But I promise you, right, I promise you there's more good women out there than you fucking realize. There's way more good women out there than you fucking realize. Don't listen to these dudes because they're picking a certain type of chick. They're picking, you know, Instagram models and, and OnlyFans chicks and all this other shit that throw on these podcasts who, no offense, they don't pick the most intelligent of them. They pick the ones that got two fucking brain cells and one of them's on fucking hiatus, right? They're not picking intelligent women. They're not picking women with good values and morals. They're picking the women who want fucking Chanel bags in exchange to get flued the fuck out and suck some dick. That's what they're choosing. They're not showing you the good out there. They're only showing you the fucking bad and it's really fucking bad and it just creates an army of these men actually we can't even say fucking men fucking boys who are just out there being mean as shit and doing fuck boy things and i've done it i have fucking done it i've treated women terribly and guess the fuck what i've ruined them for the next person and once that shit happens they're fucking gone bro they're fucking gone and that's not what you want to do you know I have so many friends that are in fucking long-term relationships. They're married, they have children, and the shit is fucking beautiful. Absolutely fucking beautiful. And that's what you should be striving for. Engage with more positive content, with content that's geared towards making you a better man so you can be a better husband, a better father, a better partner, a better everything, right? Don't sit there and listen to these fucking yahoos that, yeah, sure, they might get fucking laid, but these dudes, they have nothing else. Like, okay, they drive a Lamborghini and what? Nobody fucking likes them. If they walk anywhere around fucking LA, Miami, Vegas, wherever, nobody gives a shit about them. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody even likes these assholes. And if you don't fucking believe me, look at the content that they're putting out now. They're fucking grifters. Like, nobody's even watching their shit, bro. Like, they're getting demonetized. All this shit's fucking happening because instead of them telling people to be better and do the right thing, they're just bashing people for all the shit that, you know, women do wrong. What you guys need to do, and this is something that's going to be fucking profound, right? You find someone, you find a woman that when you guys are going through some shit, you find the fucking one reason to love her and, and stick with her versus all the shit that she does wrong. And for you for you religious people out there, 1 Corinthians 13, 5. I grew up in the church, right? I know that shit. Love holds no records of fucking wrongdoing, right? So don't hold that shit against, that's what women do. Women do that shit. Men, we don't do that shit. So please guys, be better, do better, try harder. Don't engage with a lot of that shit because it's just going to make you fucking bitter like it did for me and cause a lot of waves and you're going to lose something really good because I lost like the best thing that probably is ever going to fucking happen to me because of that shit.